There are certain times and places you never forget. Father's glass factory smile. You might think the daily trips to the place would dim the fascination for me, but nothing could be further from the truth. Besides, there was a special reason for this visit. A very special reason. They were making wonderful gifts for my wedding. And now they were all trying to outdo each other in hopes of pleasing me. One piece looked more beautiful than the next. Spun so fine you wondered how they held together. It was a fantastic world of glass. Make it tell. 
church with the father. The church is strong, it's powerful, and is respected by all. My house is my house, and it will be as safe as the church. Father. You will pardon me, Father Sierra. The commander of the truth assured us that there was no danger of the town falling, and now we're going to be at the mercy of these bandits. I wouldn't call them bandits, they're rebels. It is all one and the same. I don't think you understand. Robert. Oh, darling. random bullet. Rosita, there's nothing wrong with your husband. Many people have been killed by a random bullet. I swear I saw it coming straight at me. Well, if he's standing here in the window, one will come straight at you. Rosita, don't hold me. Keep on praying. They are coming for us. Never forget them, Fidel. These people must be faced with courage and dignity. Father, I will go with you. No, Maria Dolores. You will remain here, where you belong, in your home. If something happens, you know what to do. Let us go. won't be long. You don't have to worry, Maria Dolores. I know the general who has taken this town. We were like brothers. We went to school together. I don't think he has forgotten. and I knew I'd find you. It's good to see you. Just look who's a priest. Look who is a general. Come on over here where we can talk. You know, this is just like old times. Bocanera, take all these people out and make them wait. I'm going to be here with my friend. Come on! No! They must not go. All right. What brought you here? What can I do for you, senorita? For me? 
Nothing. I come with my friends. Oh, I see. Then you will have to wait while I attend to them. I shall wait, Jose Juan. And I hope you will not do anything that is unworthy of you. Sit down. Sit down, I tell you. of you is Carlos Peñatiel. Ah, yeah. Come here. I'm telling you to come here. You know what I'm in this town for, don't you? I do. I'm surprised to find you here. Why didn't you leave with the others? Because my home is here. I was born here and will be buried here. Besides, I don't think you will be here long. I wouldn't talk like that if I were you, Mr. Peñafiel. Yes, General. Jimmy, General. Come on, out! Hurry up! Who's Fidel Bernal? At your service, General. I am Fidel Bernal, merchant. At your service and at the service of the government you represent. You do not know, General, how glad I am that you have freed the town of that. I'm glad there are reasonable people among you. People willing to cooperate with us. General, in everything and to all ends, you may count on me unconditionally. Although, I am sorry to say, I have nothing really to count on. Well, you can start cooperating with 30,000 pesos. 30,000 pesos? 30,000 pesos and all the livestock you sent up to the hills a few days ago. But that would ruin... And all the stocks of grain and sugar that you have a monopoly of in Cholula. But I have nothing, General. You're a well-meaning man. I'm nobody's enemy, General. I only want to be right with everybody. Do you hear me, General? Let me go in peace. Let me work. I'm only a peaceful tradesman. I don't understand anything about revolutions or uprisings. You don't understand. But you take full advantage. You corner the food and you raise the prices. Then the people, they pay your price or they starve. <laughs> Revolutions are not made so that some may grow rich, while others lose their blood fighting for what they believe is right. Any cause may have enemies, because men have the right to think freely, or they are not free men. One can feel respect for an enemy who fights and dies for the cause he considers just. But those who want to be right with everybody, those who are nobody's enemy when the future of the homeland is at stake, they are the real traitors, the leeches that grow fat off the blood of their fellow men. Bocanegra! Yes, General. Shoot him. Yes, General. No! 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 Don't kill me, General. I'll give you the 100,000 pesos and the livestock. But don't kill me. Let me live! No! No! Don't kill me, General. For the sake of all you love, don't kill me. I'll give you 200,000 pesos, all my money. Don't kill me, I'll tell you. I'll give you everything, everything. My wife, she's very lovely. What did you say? My wife, she's very beautiful. What can I get? Get him out of here. Yeah, General. No, no, don't kill me. Let me live! Let me live! I don't want to die! Let me live! 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 Let me
me live! Please, let me live! I, 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 let me live! I'm sorry, General. I couldn't help it. He made me sick. Boca Negra. Yes, yeah, General. The rings. <laughs> it is wonderful to have a general who never forgets a thing. <laughs> Robert Stanley, a doctor. Here to make some money, eh? No, just practicing and studying down here. I'd, uh, I'd like a pass to Mexico City and back. I'd take care of that flesh wound. To Mexico City? For what reason? Well, I'm, I'm not going there for any political purposes. You still haven't answered my question. Well, I, I need some things. Medicines and surgical supplies. I can't get them here. Is that all? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm going to buy a gift for my bride. I hope to be married in this town very soon with the daughter of Don Carlos Pena Fiel, uh, whom you've already met. General, I'm in love with his daughter. It's on her account that I ask you for this. Let him go free. I promise that when I marry, I shall take them away from here, to my country. Passes are out of the question. But because of your profession, Doctor, we'll make an exception. They'll validate these papers next door. Thank you very much. Oh, uh... Don't forget what I told you about that wound. Another one! I should like to raise an objection. Why was I arrested? I am Apolonio Sanchez, the schoolmaster, General. Why did you bring him, Boca Negra? He looked rich. With these sleeves? All right. Go for your school. All right, General. What's on your mind? No offense to anyone, but are you the government now? Yes. Well, I haven't been paid in two months. How much do you earn a day? One seventy-five, General. One peso seventy-five centavos a day? Yes, sir. Here's 200 pesos. We'll pay you what's due later. Oh. And from tomorrow on, you earn double. Double? Yes. Thank you, General. Thank you very much. God bless you. Oh, Professor. If it's not too much trouble, could you accommodate another pupil? It will be an honor and a privilege. Adelita. Adelita. Well, as soon as I find her, you'll have another pupil. Make them give you what's written there. If they don't, you know what to do. Yeah, General. Come on! Out! March! Pull it here! Get out of here! Wait up! Where are you going? 
Where did you hide the money? What money? The money you're keeping for your rich friends. I have no money from the rich. Only a little from the poor. I don't think that it would interest you. It hardly amounts to 200 pesos. I'm not interested in money for myself. But for the cause, I want all I can get, no matter how little it may be. Is that all you have? That's all. Daddy? Yes? Are you shopping teacher yet? No, not yet. Call me when you do. Come here, Adelita. Come here. That little girl, is she your daughter? No, but it's the same as if she were. Her father was my friend. Her mother was a camp follower. They were both killed when their train was blown up. What is she doing here with you? This is no life for a little girl. I left her with some distant relatives, but they don't love other people's children. They didn't care for her property. I have no other home but my saddle, but the kid loves me, and I think she's better off with me. Besides, I'm her godfather. Godfather? You know, Jose Juan, you would have made a good priest. Yes, but with these clothes, Calling you. I can go now. Of course. Serrita. Jose Juan. Thank you. What have they done with my father? Nothing has happened to your father. You're afraid to tell me. You have no need to worry. You're trying not to hurt me. Please tell me, Father Sierra. He's in no danger. He will protect him. I hope so, Father. Maria Dolores. Yes, Father Sierra. You must promise me not to be out on the streets alone during this time. And why not? Do you think I'm afraid? No, but... Uh, it is better if you stay in the house. I'm a woman, but I can take care of myself. I know, but you are not like the other women. turn the other cheek because you saw two legs. me? 
I'm not following you, senorita. No. No. I'm escorting you. Oh. Then stop escorting me. Would you like some candles, Nia Maria Dolores? Oh, no, thank you. I wouldn't like any candles. Surely, Senor Zopanfiel does not want fireworks? Oh, of course not. What would I do with fireworks? Fireworks? What size? The very largest you have. Oh, don't you have anything larger than that? I have the young Independence Day special. The Independence Day special, that's it. Give it to me. Oh. It's divine. But that, that could kill somebody. Good. Got a match? in this household, that the day should come when I have to bring food to Don Carlos in jail. What is to happen to us all, Dr. Stanley? Nothing, Faustina. We've just got to remain calm and everything will be all right. Well, what was that? It sounds like a gunshot. for a minute, will you? Maria Dolores, I've decided not to go to Mexico City. Oh, but you have to go to get your supplies. Listen, darling. Your father will only be given his freedom when he delivers the money that General Reyes asked for. He dared to ask my father for money. Well, he'll never get it. He... Oh, blow his revolution. Hey, now, wait a minute. Let wait, give go. him the gun. Give free. it to me. Oh. Now look here, sit down. You don't seem to understand. He's a very, very strange man. Strange man? He's a beast. He's the nearest thing I've ever seen to a gorilla. Now listen to me, you go to Mexico City and you get your supplies. And when you get to Mexico, you tell them how he's burned every decent house in the town, that he's ravished all the people, that no one's safe in the streets. But as for me, don't you worry about me. I'm not afraid to face that monster. And don't forget to bring my wedding dress. All right. But will you do me one favor? Of course, Robert. Will you try to control your temper? It's going to get you in trouble someday. I forgot. Bye. Bye.
Where are you going with that painting? You know, Sierrita, I don't know anything about paintings, but I like this one. Why did you take it down? Because you had it in the dark where nobody could see it. And just look what you have here. Three kings on their knees before a child. The child whose birth brought love to the brotherhood of man. And what do you do with this in Men's Simple? Yes, what do you do with it? You hide it in the corner. I would leave it there in the light, just as you say. And put it high so that men can see it. Now, uh, besides moving the painting, what are you doing here? I have never seen you in church before. I want you to tell me about a girl. About a girl? Yes. If I didn't know you as well as I do, I... I would almost take it as a lack of respect. Not this one, Silita. She is the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. I know I will never forget her. And I want to marry her. You want to marry her? And you don't know who she is? You know everybody here, Silita. Her face is like a dream. And her eyes are full of fire. And her lips are like lightning when she's angry. You must know she has a temper. But I like it. And she smiles. And you forget everything. It's a smile that remains in the heart. Did you... Uh, did you say she has a temper? A beautiful woman. You cannot marry that woman. Then you know who she is. Of course I know who she is. She's Maria Dolores. The daughter of Don Carlos Peñafiel. She's not married. No. But she's engaged to the doctor. The one I gave the pass to? Yes. And he's coming back for her. He's coming back for her, eh? We'll see about that. You are not serious, Jose Juan. Of course I'm serious. What can I do to make you change your mind? Why should I change my mind? I love that woman. And now that I've found her, I'm not gonna lose her. She can easily be yours. You and your man can take anything you want by force, which you cannot have otherwise. What can you offer this woman? Nothing. Your life is full of uncertainty. She is used to, to security, to a home, not the way you live. And if you take her by force, Jose Juan, you will lose her forever. Once she's mine, I'd never lose her. Jose Juan! Senor Peñafiel, I'm terribly sorry about what happened. You know, I had given orders to let you go free, but they misunderstood my orders. Free! Unconditionally free? Sure! Unconditionally free. Like a bird. You can fly now. I don't understand what made you do this. No? I'm certainly happy to see you, Senor Peñafiel. Have a cigarette. I'm sure you like these. I smoke them all the time. Very good tobacco.
I'm sorry, Senor Peñafiel. I'm very sorry, Senorita Peñafiel. <laughs> He's very sorry that he did not shoot you, Papa. Maybe he'll find time some other day. Let's go home. You must believe me. The whole thing was an accident. What is a little accident like catching 12 bullets in your body? I can only repeat, I'm sorry. Oh, stop bothering us and go and shoot somebody else. Senor Peñafiel, please grant me the privilege of calling at your house tonight. Anyone who dares to insult my father, you have. You, you butcher. Now, Adelita, this is one time I think you're wrong. Don't you think she's wonderful? Did you see her temper? That's the way I want you to be, huh? Just like that. I'll talk to him. Not you, Father. You, Father Sierra. Not me. But he's your friend. Yes, but, uh, but you don't know him. And I don't want to. He's on time. Is he? I'll talk to him. There's some things that we women can do better, you know. Who is it? I, Senorita. Who is I? General Jose Juan Reyes. And who is General Jose Juan Reyes? Don't you remember, senorita? The gentleman you slapped the other day. The gentleman? Well, what do you want? Another slap? No, senorita. I would like to speak to your father. To my father? Yes. Only to my father? No. I would also like to talk to you. <sighs> well, you have nothing to say to me. I forbid you to walk on my street. Go away. Go away. And just who do you think you are to run me off this street? Don't you raise your voice to me. I'm not raising my voice. That's the way I always talk. Well, don't brag about it, Frank. And I'm not bragging. Go and call your father just the way I said. How dare said. you give me orders? I'm not your silly old army who acts just like you're a dictator. You, to me, are nothing but a miserable bandit. Bandit, did you say? Bandit. Do you realize what you're saying? Then? I always realize what I'm saying. You, you are a hairy eater, saying, a mushroom with fur right on it. Now. You have if no you dignity. That language you're just you're going to get yourself into a big trouble. hat on your head. Shut up. I don't know why you interrupt me. Interrupt you? Ah! <laughs> As if anybody ever could interrupt you. Just try to get into word as wise. That is absolutely impossible. Hands <laughs> up! General, are you still there? Yes. I'm awfully sorry, General. I, I guess I lost my temper. It's all right. I think I kind of lost mine, too. Hey, I want to tell you something I don't want my father to hear. Something you don't want your father to hear? Will you come a little closer? Are you very close now? I'm right up against it. Good. Don't move, please.
happy Judith women are like mice. Curiosity always traps them. <laughs> My regards to your mother. <laughs> <laughs> My general sent this gift to the beautiful Maria Dolores. Maria Dolores does not want to be bothered by your general. Pick him up! Pick him up, stupid! Maria, take those presents to her. Retain it with love. Flash of it! I can't stand it any longer, Father. I can't go out of the house, but what is there? If I if I look out of the window, he's there. I can't go to Mass, but what is there? I can't stand it any longer, Father. It's, it's like trying to lose your own shadow. I pray for night to come so that I can get him out of my sight. Señorita, please listen to me. Please. I must speak to you. We have nothing to talk about. If you must speak to someone, go to one of your camp followers. Perhaps you're right, but that's not what my heart chooses. What do I care what your heart chooses? Leave me alone. Leave me in peace. Look, here's one of your own women. Why don't you go to her? Go back to your canteen women or whatever you call them. Senorita, forgive me for telling you that the women you have such contempt for don't deserve it. They're brave and humble, and they ask for nothing except the love of the men they're willing to die for. People are different because of a simple accident of birth. If you hadn't been born with all your advantages, what kind of a woman would you have been? Good enough to be a camp follower? Be a coward. Why don't you strike a man? Oh, how can you be so low? All right, Maria Dolores. Forgive me, Jose Juan. Do you hear me? If I were a man, I could tear him to pieces, into a million pieces. I, oh, I, I, I drag him up in the gutter, and I slap him all over, and I throw him back again. And then I pick him up, and I wipe the floor with him, because he's dirt. He's just dirt. Do you hear me? I wish you were here. I, I don't want his neck. I throw him in the street. When I saw him hit you, if I'd had a bomb, I'd have taken it and I'd have thrown it out of it. I'd have thrown him into a million little revolutionary death. Maria Dolores, oh. don't talk like that. Then why not? Why not when I could tear him to pieces? You must have provoked him. What did you say to him? Nothing. Nothing? Really? Nothing. What would I say to him when he's so far below me? He is... Dirt. No, you, you said. He's dirt.
the other lawyers. You know, Jose Juan was here. He was here and he saw this painting. Over there. Almost in the shadows. It hangs here now because... because he wanted the light to shine on it. To Jose Juan, the three kings are a symbol of the power, of the proud, of those who consider themselves above their fellow men. But in that child, in that child he saw all those who are below, the humble, They are the powerful on their knees for humbling themselves. It was as if, as if he wished he could make all men equal once again. Is that what the rebels are fighting for? I don't know, Maria Dolores. But that is what he said to me. What he saw the painting. It's very easy to say things like that about equality and respect, but why doesn't he practice what he preaches with me? Tell me, Father, why? I'm glad I found you, General. Please do not send our leader to school tomorrow. We must keep the place closed so that the illness does not spread with your permission. What illness? I do not know, General. It's something terrible. It strikes like lightning. Look, every other house is stricken. I must tell the other parents. This infernal disease is spreading like a plague, General. It strikes without reason. No one is immune. We should evacuate this town and save our men. You've got to 
get us out of here, General. Don't let them come any closer. Have you seen the streets? They're stinking with the sick. Look at me, my General. I have lost my wife. Look at her. Look at her. She's dead. Do you understand? If you don't care what happens to us, I do. None of those rotten infested people are going to touch me. Take care of this man. Bury his wife. You've just seen that sick man. That's what's going to happen to all of us if we lose our heads. I'm no doctor, and I can't work miracles. And if I'm going to be of any help to you, I insist on absolute obedience. No one is to leave this town under penalty of death. <laughs> I want you to get all the blanket sheets, linens you can find, and bring them here. Use force if you have to. Get all the alcohol in town. Go to the bars, the cantinas. You know where they are. And I'm sure every one of you has an extra bottle in his saddlebag. Bring all of your sick ones here. We have to keep them apart from the well if we're going to check this disease. Get a move on you! Where are your papers? We have no papers. In that case, I shall have to take you back to headquarters. But I assure you, your general has given us permission. I'm sorry, senorita. I have my orders. Look, if you have any heart at all, will you please let us go? I'm sorry. No one can leave. Let's go. Clear out that rear barracks. I want plenty of room for these people. General, these people were trying to leave Cholula without a pass. For a man who loves his home as much as you do, Don Carlos, you must have good reasons for leaving. If you and Senorita Peña Piel still wish to leave Cholula, you are free to do so. They want to take all the linen. Nothing from my house. Father, let me in. We must give them all the linen. You take what's here, Manuela. Yes, niña. There's more up in the attic. Can you get that?
you, Dr. General. It didn't bring any medicine. All she brought is a thinking wedding dress for the woman you love. Look! Shall I shoot him? What do you mean, shoot him? You idiot! The only man who knows what to do at a time like this? I wish I did. General, this is an influenza epidemic. Not a town or a city has escaped it. And no medicines to be obtained any place. The whole world seems to be stricken by it. What are we going to do? Well, the important thing is to keep the fever down. Quinine and compresses. General, if I may, I'd like to give what small help I can. Of course. Then you better come with me, Maria Dolores. I'm going to need your help. Negra, my old friend, I'm very sick. I think I'm going to die. Well, you can't expect to live forever, my friend. <coughs> Doctor! Doctor! Hurry up! Quick! Hurry up, Doctor! How do you feel? I want my daddy. You better call Jose Juan. Is she so sick? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Jose Juan. Maria Dolores. That's the first time I've heard you say my name. Jose Juan, you must come with me. I've been looking for you. To ask you to please forgive me. Yes, Jose Juan. But we must hurry. It is... Adelita. 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 You know the chestnut horse that Boca Negra rides. Do you like so much? Boca Negra is going to give him to you, Adelita. It's going to be your own, to do as you please with. 
Adelita. If you don't want to go to school, you don't have to go, Adelita. You want to shoot my pistol? You can shoot it. Adelita, answer me. Please, Adelita. Please. Adelita, answer me. kilometers away. They have instruction to destroy your forces and to take you. Dead or alive. Your order, General. Sound retreat. Retreat? Without fighting? Yes, Colonel. Retreat without fighting. Sometimes it's better to retreat than to keep on fighting. Yes, General. I'm glad you have decided not to keep on fighting, Jose Juan. What will we have in the end, Father? The destruction of everything. Homes, churches, land, lives, everything. Goodbye, Sirita. Forgive me for everything. Goodbye, Jose Juan.
Well, it looks like everything's all set. But I'd like to ask you one question. Are you sure you want to marry me? The reason I ask is because I know now that there's someone else who loves you as much as I do. I want you to be really sure. Yes, Robert, I'm sure. All right. Let's go. There will be no more battles here. General Jose Juan Reyes, my friend, has decided to retreat. outside of the Pueblo, have them start spreading their ranks. Yes, you. 